Welcome back to Inside Boxing's Throwdown. And in this segment, we're going to throw down because I'm going to tell you what. We're going to talk about Victor Vicious Ortiz and his rematch coming up with uh, Andre Berto. Okay? If you all remember the first one, it's an epic battle. And it may, Steve, eventually become known as Fight of the Year for uh, 2011. It was one of them fights. Well, okay. several organizations okay. did name it as Fight of the Year, but... Um, you're right. It's an epic battle, and, and we expect the exact same thing, except the outcome will be different. This time, Andre Berto was prepared. Um, I think he kind of took uh, Victor Ortiz lightly. <clears throat> I do. I think he took him lightly. And um, I, I, expect, I, I fully expect Victor Ortiz to do the same thing he did against Floyd Mayweather. He'll look for some out, um, some dirty out. Like he did, it's going to be a low blow, uh, um, something that uh, that'll get him out of it. But I expect uh, Andre Berto to put it on him. Let me tell you, this fight will not be a candidate for fight of the year. Victor Ortiz is going to go in there and just put it on Berto. Okay. And what would lead it's, you to say that? Because once you once 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 Berto got a taste of that ass whipping that he got. Oh. It's never Lord. gonna he's never gonna forget. Oh, I mean Lord. I mean it took him everything to stay in the fight. Oh, and, and and to stay in there and, and, and finish the fight out because he was a beaten man. I mean tell you Victor <laughs> Is that water? Are you sure? Because I don't know man. I I'm, for I'm, one thing, Berto is nowhere near the quality fighter of Floyd Mayweather. True. Okay. So there's no way Berto has the talent and the skills to frustrate anybody, much less Victor Ortiz. Well, uh, we're okay. in agreement on that. So, uh, so. Uh, Floyd Mayweather is a boxer. Yeah, he's the, one of the best boxers of all time. So I, 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 I've already uh, condescended to that. He's got. This is going to be a, a fight, okay? Victor Ortiz and Andre Berto are going to fight, and mm -hmm. I, I want you, to, want you to tell me where you saw any fight. And I'm not, I'm just, I'm not talking about. In, I'm talking about where you saw any fight. In Victor Ortiz when he fought Floyd Mayweather, I saw no fight in him at all. He he didn't have he was like any other fighter. You just don't have you don't have an answer to Floyd's style. Okay, but leaving that alone, you know you know what this fight's going to be like. What's that? It's going to be it's almost going to be identical to the rematch between Abner Marius and uh, Albeco and Albeco. Okay, Albeco came in one hundred percent ready. In his mind, he came in knowing that he was going to go in there and get his title back. But when the bell rang, the memories came back. Okay? And he was good for a little while, and then Abner just stood on his game plan. I would that's, disagree that's, with that. That's, that's no, no, the no, fight no. we're going to see. I'm not going to let you get away with that for that. one reason. <laughs> because in, in the first fight with Abner and Joseph, we were of the opinion that that's a toss-up. We, mm -hmm. we knew we were going to see a great fight. Mm -hmm. In the first fight with um, Ortiz and Berto, we were both of the opinion that not a toss-up. This is going to be who quits first because they're both quitters. Exactly. Exactly. I agree with you. Okay. So and, since that fight, and I don't think that I don't think that I, I I think what's changed there is I think Victor has definitely made amends to that to that tag of quitting from the Madonna fight. He's made amends. He's already he's already reckoned himself. He's come back. He's He's proved that he's a new man. He's proved he's proved <laughs> he, that he, he can come in and oh, he, he, he sure has. He proved that he got a nice payday he's from Floyd. Now you talk about an ass whooping. He took a nice little ass whooping. He was trying to hug and kiss Floyd. I don't know where that come from. Uh, but there's no going to be no hug and kissing with Berto. No. Berto's going to knock no. his ass out. No, I'm hey, telling you right now, it, Berto's going to knock gonna his happen, ass guys, out. Guys, it's not going to happen. Now, if you're listening to that, if you believe that, don't bet the house. All I'm saying is don't bet the house because people don't give Victor enough credit. Victor is a warrior. Victor hasn't he's earned a, any credit. He sure has. No, he hasn't. He, he sure the has. Best fight you know he earned it when he beat Berto. That, that, and that's what everyone okay. says. And I'm telling okay. you that we all said that that was definitely a candidate for fight of the year, which means that Berto held his own. And I'm telling you that he underestimated uh, Victor Ortiz coming into that fight. I truly believe that he underestimated that he was going to come, come in focused like he was. No. Because that's the only way he stayed in the fight was that he's focused. But the fight with Floyd Mayweather, to me, showed Victor Ortiz with a lot of bitch in him. And that's what all of that hugging and kissing before, even in the, 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 the wait a minute, even at the weigh-in, and the pictures all over everyone's seen him, 
he allowed Floyd to act like he's choking him. He told Floyd, you keep your fucking hands off me. You don't touch me. Now, that's the way it's supposed to be. That's okay. promotion. No, 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 no. That's this promotion. Is no, no, no. I, I've seen plenty okay. of promotions, and I'll tell you a classic promotion. To see, to, we're talking about promotion. Mm -hmm. You remember the one of the best things we ever saw when we saw uh, Juan Marcus and... Um, no, not Juan Marcus. When we saw... Barrera. Barrera and Morales. And, uh, oh, man, there's no promotion there. Them two dudes, it's like, no, we're getting this on. Yeah, them, them people, th th them two <laughs> really did have a dislike for each other. And that's what I'm saying. They, and that's that's what it's supposed but, to but be. But them days are point. gone. And, and them days of, of them of the real, real uh, uh, hatred and going in there are opinion? gone. And, and most of them were Tyson. Because all them fiascos you saw with Tyson and his, his things where they had to separate him, mm -hmm. that shit was for real. Oh, yeah. Tyson had no problem in knocking the guy out before the fight. Yeah. I mean that that was just Tyson. So, exactly. So it does now it's all show. Now but, it, no, but I'm 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 gonna tell you and I'm gonna tell our list our, our viewers this right now. This fight is going to be it's it, it's gonna be similar to a bare knuckle brawl. Where this is not there's nothing funny about this to Andre Berto. Uh Victor Ortiz, if he wanna come come out with that little sheepish grin that he has and he wants to let Somebody choke him, and he wants to give kisses and hugs. It's not happening in this fight. I, I, Andre Berto is pissed. I He's agree. pissed that he, that he let this boy get away because that fight that um, Andre Berto had with Floyd Mayweather, that was, I mean, that uh, Victor yeah, Ortiz yeah. did, that was Andre Berto's fight, and he knows that. And now that he knows sure that, he's pissed about that, and he's going to take him out. He's going to stop him. No, and I'm telling you, he's going to stop him in about the eighth round. I agree That's with my you. prediction right I agree now. with you on one point, What's Steve, that, that it's going to be... A, a, a war for about five rounds. Oh, four geez. about five rounds, and then you're going to see where Berto's going to back up, and he's going to say, "Okay, can't do it." Well, can't you, do it. Not, you know what? I didn't want to go down this road with you, <laughs> but do you realize that Victor Ortiz now is he thinks he's Hollywood? He's trying to hang out with Kobe's ex-wife and the whole bit. Do you think this dude has trying? Trying. Do you think that this dude has any kind of fire left in him? All I gotta say is, if Kobe can't take care of his his, his stuff at home, watch out. Then there's they're, somebody they're, else that they're, they're, they're getting divorced. They're, okay. they're, they're, well, they're separated that, but, but, and divorced. Well, there's obviously something went wrong. He couldn't handle. He couldn't. Okay. Something went wrong. Then we know we're in Colorado, so we know Kobe's antics in Colorado well, up there in the mountains. We we okay. all know that Kobe, okay. you know, he's a dog, okay? He's got a lot of dogs. Well, 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 what's that old saying? A rat, poor rat? <laughs> is that you ain't got but one hole. Yeah, you're a poor rat and you ain't got but one hole. Well, no, okay, that's so. cold. That's cold. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> now, but let me tell you this. And I want to no, leave, I... leave everybody with this one thought for me as far as this Andre Berto and Victor Ortiz fight. Um, I, just me personally, I lost a lot of respect for Victor, Victor Ortiz the way he handled himself during that whole promotion. And then in the fight, he, he just nailed the final nail in the coffin. I mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember fights where, you know, you let God put his hands on you. Other than Shane Mosley with him and, and, and Floyd. And, and don't forget, Floyd's thing is intimidation. And sure his is. intimidation is to, uh, he to, beat you. to make everything his way. He beats so you that before time, you get in the ring. That's right. So by the time the fight starts, you want to tear his head off. You've already and, lost. And, and you've already lost. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So in my opinion, if this fight goes down with Robert Guerrero, I'm not like you. I'm not giving him a chance. I'm giving him a chance. To Guerrero? Yes. Oh. Against Floyd. I'm giving him a chance because I think I think Robert is smart enough to know what Floyd's antics are. Like, he won't fall for those traps. He's not going to let Floyd put his hands on him. He's not going to let him, you know, you know, all that stuff he has to say. If I'm Robert Guerrero, you know what I do? I beat him to the punch. I come Floyd, out talking Floyd, about Floyd. Him. Floyd better not do any of that stuff, because Floyd. because Robert would get hurt in training. <laughs> okay, so Floyd See. better not do anything to, to, to intimidate Guerrero. He, okay. he needs, but that fight ain't going to happen. Well, let's anyway, go back, go back guys, to obviously Berto. Guys, look, we, Berto we're, and, and, we're, and 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 we're Victor being Ortiz. told our time is over, so we want to let you go. He's talking about Berto. It's not going to happen. Victor Ortiz, you watch February 11th. That fight, that fight is going to happen February 11th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, okay? And it's going to be on Showtime. And if it, if okay? I don't see it on Showtime, I will be there. But I want you to know, Denver Broncos this weekend, baby. Maddie Ortega, Maddie, uh, Denver Broncos, Tim Tebow, baby, 316. Ooh, right. that's another 316 <laughs> yards he's passing for against those New New England Patties. Hey, keep him up. And we'll see you on the next segment. Next baby. segment, All right. Baby.